everyone, how's it going? For today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw Bulbasaur doing his vine whip attack. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with Bulbasaur doing his vine attack, let's begin with the eyes. So I'm going to start right about here and I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve up like this. Next, I'll make a line that's going to come this way with a little bit of a curve. Then I'm going to make a little line that comes down here. I'll make a second little line right here. And right here, let's make half of an oval shape for the pupil. And right above it, let's go ahead and add a little curve line. Now I'm going to leave some space and I'm going to make the other eye. So leave quite a bit of space and then over here we'll do the same thing. So I'm going to begin by making a line that's going to curve up and then we'll make one that just kind of curves out like this. Next we'll bring this line down. Then I'll add another one right here. And then I'll add another little half oval shape for the pupil. Next for the eyebrow, let's draw a little line that comes down. Now I want to make the mouth right here. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to make a line that's going to kind of go down like this. It's going to come back up and then it's going to come over and up like this. Next, starting here, I'm going to bring this line down kind of at an angle. And then I'm going to curve it up here. I'm going to make a little point here, like a V shape for one of the teeth, and then one right here for the other tooth. And then let's go ahead and draw a little curved line in here for the mouth. Next, I'm going to make two little marks right here for the nose. Now starting here, let's make the side of the face. So I'm going to begin by bringing this line up and then I'm going to curve it in. And then I'm going to bring this line down here. I'm going to curve this up and we'll curve it around here for the jaw. Now right here let's make the ear. I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve up. It's going to come to a point and then curve back down. Next we're going to make a curved line here for the top of the head. Then we'll make another one of those ears. I'm going to curve this up and then curve it down. Now over here I want to make one of his legs. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve like this. I'm going to bring it back. And then I'm going to make another one that's going to come out. And I'm going to bring this back in. I'm also going to make a little kind of V-shape right here. Then we'll add a little curve at the end of each one for the claws. Now starting here, I'm going to make the other leg. So I'm going to begin by drawing a line that's going to curve down. I'm going to bring this out and then in. Then I'll make another one that's going to go down and up, kind of like a V-shape. And then one more. It's going to go out and then up. Now I'm going to curve this leg right up to here. Then I'll add some little curves on here. Now starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to curve up. 
And then before we go any farther, we're going to make the little bulb on the back. So I'm going to start right here in about the middle of the head, and I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve out, and then I'm going to bring it in like this. Then starting right here, we're going to do the same thing. So I'm going to curve this out, and then bring it in and up. I'm going to make some little zigzag lines all the way across. And then right here, let's do another one. We're going to curve out, in, and then up, and we'll bring it in with some zigzags. Same thing right here. We're just going to curve this out, bring it in and up, and connect with some zigzags. Now, for the back leg, I'm going to begin by drawing a line that's going to curve down and then up like this. And then I'm going to make a little line that's going to go out and up. And then one more. It's going to go out and then back up. I'm going to curve this right to here. And then I'm going to bring a line that goes right to here. Now, our next step is to make the little vines coming out of here. So let's start one right here. I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up here, and then it's going to curve down. I'm going to bring this up and around to here. We'll make a kind of like oval shape right there. And then we're just going to redraw the same shape. And we want to make sure that we're keeping this really close to this other line. And we want to keep it about the same thickness all the way across. Now let's do the other one over here. I'm going to begin by drawing this line up. And then we're going to bring it down here. I'm going to curve this around, and I'll make that little oval shape right there. This one's going to be a little bit bigger, like it's coming at us. I'm going to keep this line a little bit farther apart, and then as I get farther along up here, we're going to get it a little bit skinnier and bring it closer together. That way we're showing a little bit of perspective in here. Now, one of the last things we have to do to our Bulbasaur is to add some of his spots on there. So I'm going to start right here in the middle. Let's begin by making a line that's going to come down. Then we're going to bring a line that's going to come up. And the line's going to come over and then connect. Right here, I'm going to make a little triangle shape. And then another one right over here. Now on the legs, I'm going to make a line that's going to go up and then in like this. I'll make another one that's going to go up and then connect. For this spot over here, let's just make a little square shape. Over here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up. We'll make a long line down and then a short line down. And we'll connect it here. And right over here, I'm going to make a little kind of square shape. And then we'll add two little curves onto the toes here. And there you go. There is your drawing of Bulbasaur doing his vine whip. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.